he's dead. He's getting pecked by that boy. Give him a kiss. I do have some bad news. Don't bite me, son. Ah! Stop posting cringe. Good morning, everybody. This is my friend Kevin. He bites and it hurts really bad sometimes, as you can see. Uh, today is Baylor homecoming, so there's all kinds of... Oh, oh that, that really hurts. Well, that's going to be a bleeder. But I just fed all these dinguses, and today's Baylor homecoming, so there's jets flying overhead. Kanye is free-ranging, and he's doing a lot better. I think he was getting pecked by Remington. You can see here he's losing a little bit of stuff here and he was getting pecked by that boy so now i'm keeping this perfect baby outside he is a beautiful creature isn't he i love the way he smells he just smells really good it's a windy day today as you can see and kevin's trying to kill me for some reason normally he isn't this cringe i'm gonna go ahead and feed him here this is his food I like to give Kevin his food right here. Oh, excuse me, Kevin. Sure, just go ahead and take this, sir. Okay, there you go. Goodbye. And here comes all the ducks again. But at the end of the day, Kevin is just a hungry little boy, and he'll still eat out of my hand. I just wish he would eat a little less aggressively. The piglets are a lot friendlier now just because these guys have been socializing them. And today I'm going to pick the smallest, cutest one to catch. Got him. You just got to kiss them, guys. Also, they smell, ooh, they smell really nice. And they're healthy. What do you think of him, Kanye? Give him a kiss, Kanye. Look at my queeb. Look at this adorable baby. What do you think of him? Give him a kiss. Okay, goodbye, queeb. Okay, time to finally socialize him. This man's name will be Jeff Portnoy. There he goes, an adorable little creature. Be nice to him. Be nice to him, Biggie Small. Okay, now that we have the cringe, uh-uh, Piggerton, I'm gonna go ahead and get the cappies. And I do actually have an apple today, so I can get him to love me. But first, I'm gonna have to sit in here with him for an hour. For some reason, they always need to see me eat the apple first before they can trust me. And then they'll just come right over. Come here, children. Come on, children. Let's go inside. Stop being cringe now. Self-proclaimed free thinkers when you put an apple in front of them. Look at Kanye over there. Kanye says, give me that apple. I'm just going to lead these guys into the house. Yeah, I got the first cappy in, but now I can't find the pig. I think he's somewhere in my room. Where, oh, where could he be? But okay, time to get the other one. Oh, there he is. Okay, now that everybody's in here, I got my hair put up. I got my kefir. He's these boys seem to be getting along now. Eventually they will socialize the pig. Also, I got Minecraft playing. And while these boys are getting used to each other, I'm gonna go ahead out there and feed the kangaroo. And they can listen to Xbox 360 Minecraft in the meantime. And while they wait, here you go, take this pie pumpkin, son. I'm gonna grab my kefir, feed the baby and the ostriches. I do have some bad news for you guys today. Oh, time to replace this water. Sadly, our curled toad ostrich chick, Nathaniel B also known as Nathaniel Bingus, has sadly passed away. Thankfully, Homelander is still okay. And because there's so many of these guys, they don't seem to be upset. But I loved Nathaniel B. He was like a son to me. For the new people, I get the majority of these rat tights because they have some kind of deformity. And Nathaniel B had a really bad curled toe, but Homelander here had terrible splayed legs. And usually splayed legs are way harder to treat and much more fatal, but he made a full recovery. Nathaniel B just had one curled toe. One of my rat tight mentors, Ning, told me that from the way Nathaniel B was acting. He might have passed away from impaction. And this is very common. It just means that he ate a stick or something that clogged his intestines and then he sat in the corner for a few days and died. The vet's surgery for this would have a low survival rate and we don't even know if that was the issue. But we are sending him off to do an autopsy. And obviously I will let you guys know what the results were as soon as I find out. Also, Mr. Ounce has chewed his way through the wood of this enclosure. But Big Ounce and his family are thriving. Uh-oh, looks like we're under the mistletoe. But pretty soon we're going to move all these rat tights out of here so we can put a new building in this area. And they are all going to go to the way back where they have their own little enclosure. But in the next couple weeks, we should have a new building right there. Our metal building is going to be put up. We're finally going to finish our renovations on that building. And by next spring, we should have another building over there. But this is all pending on the city's approval, which I think we have starting next week. This is the first time the Cappies have interacted with a pig. And it seems like they're already friends. Oh, to be a small pig pig meeting capybaras for the first time and i wanted to give you guys that update on everything because there's a lot going on on the farm this summer has felt like limbo with all the things i've been trying to accomplish and like i said before because we're in the city it takes so much time for anything to get done but by november we should have the new building up in the back by the end of this winter we should have it all built out and ready for wildlife rehab and by the spring the other building should be up as well but we are making progress it's just slow and sure progress but as soon as we're done with all that, all 
all these animals are gonna have a nice new place to stay. That is not my living room. And our volunteers and staff will also have a nice new place to work that is not my home. So if you guys have wondered why it's taking so long for us to get these things done, that is why. Old Uncle Ben doesn't feel too comfortable with random people in his house. Inches away from where he sleeps and takes a shower every day. Although I am comfortable sharing it with these cringe ah uh, uh, creatures. Especially this one, look how cute he is. I will say that I'm really looking forward to actually staffing some people and growing this business. And having Parks and Wildlife come out and inspect everything so we can finally start getting the raccoons and the owls and the hawk. We may even have some room for crocodilians. But in the meantime, these Cappy Blappy videos sure have helped us fundraise for all these projects. So thank you guys so much for watching my videos, for subscribing to my Twitch, even though I don't make Twitch streams yet, but I will. Especially once the new building is up. Look at this little cringe man with his little apple on his face. Look how angry he gets when I take this away from him. Look. Oh, they're so precious. And Tupac just wants to be involved. I will say I don't think this is doing the best job of socializing that piglet. He is making friends with our Kim Tim. And like I said before, Poggers was actually raised by a cat and a pig. No, stop that. They like to push this over so they can get into the food here. There's a lot of food in here. They got really good at pushing this thing over. I can't leave them alone inside anymore because they'll chew on stuff and eat everything. Especially this man. This man will chew through drywall and wood to get to a nugget. If I get in the way of him and his food, he will get actually very, very angry. Look, see, he does not like that at all. This man goes from being the most sweet creature on our farm to being the most evil. Just because I distracted him from eating. Look at this. He's sleeping under my shirt as I'm editing this right now. And Tupac's over here just watching him saying, this is cringe. Also, Tupac has a little eye boogie. I took him to the vet and they said it's okay. What does this little creature think about? Look at this little man. Come on, son, give it a bite. In the next video, we're gonna do a Halloween fan mail unboxing. I'm gonna dress these cringe ah uh, uh, creatures up. So make sure you guys subscribe. Look, this is what he does. He just eats the plastic. They will literally just chew on the plastic and they will actually eat all of it. Oh, look, now he's trying to poop over. Look at the pig on top of him. Please stop eating the plastic. Crazy how quick some of these animals can just become friends like it's nothing. Like these guys over here are just best friends already. This little rapscallion is so food driven even after I gave him a whole app. Wait a minute, Big Ounce, what are you doing in here? He got in here somehow when it was closed. You don't need this much food, Big Ounce. Get out of here. No, don't bite me, son. Ah! Big Ounce has turned evil? If he does bite me, I'll get it on video and it'll be kind of sad, but I'll oh, oh my God. Please stop this. You're being cringe. You were supposed to be the chosen one, Big Ounce. You were supposed to save us from the war crimes, not commit them. Stop this at once, no! Let me just hold this hand one last time. Please, Big Ounce, stop this cringe at once. Ah, just let me poke that sweet, sweet belly again. I would love to bring him back to Colorado and just put him in one of those holes and see what happens. Do you think he would get along with them or do you think he would just fight them like this? I'm shaking your hand. You wouldn't dare bite me. You wouldn't, would you dare bite me? Man, it is hard to say whether this man would bite me or not if given the opportunity. Although I do think he's had the opportunity plenty of time. Goodbye, little man. Obviously, I'm gonna either need to supervise them or remove this little food ottoman that I have. Turns out capybaras don't eat pumpkins. That was a lie. Any videos you see of them doing it online is false. Either they're starving them beforehand or they're putting honey or something all over it. I don't know. Either way, these Kimptons sure do look cute next to a little pumpkin. Halloween Kimpton. Please, Gord. This was $40 at Walmart. Gord, the reason why I can't have nice things. Please, Gort, I beg you. Stop posting cringe. That's it for now, though, guys. Also, Jake Paul agreed to fight the baby November 13th, 2023. I'm not even joking. We have video evidence of this. But you're gonna have to wait till the next video. Oh my goodness, you guys, he's climbing on top of him. This is the most wholesome moment in Capybara Land Pui Pui history. This man really just killed Quandale Dingle. Pigerton killed Quandale Dingle? He's dead. This piglet killed my Capybara? Gone Fortnite? Gone gone anime? Gone One Piece? The one gone the One Piece is real? <laughs> gone Hank Schrader saying, I don't know, Walt. You seem kind of sussy. I think there could be an imposter among us. Man, that guy really went and killed Quandale Dingle. And Gort doesn't even care. Goodness gracious, this is wholesome. Okay, guys, you're welcome for the serotonin. How's about you guys all go in the comments and say, wow, Uncle Ben, that cured my depression. That clip 
cured my depression. Now I'm just going to go ahead and sit on big abs. For real though, guys, I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks so much for watching my videos with these cringe animals. There's a lot of work that goes on off the camera. There's so much to clean up these guys afterwards. And then I have to edit the video right there while these guys are going crazy trying to eat me and all the other things on here. Look how cringe they are. Every one of these creatures is cringe. What you don't see is how nasty this gets after just like one day. But I love you. I appreciate you. All the money from these videos is going straight to the rehab. And pretty soon our renovation on this barn are finally going to be done. So thank you guys. I love you. Appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. Ah! But man, these fellas really did just immediately become friends. Kind of cringe, TBH Gort. Kind of cringe. And at the end of the day, I love them to death. Even though they forget that I'm their papa every day, I still love them. From all of us here at the Urban Rescue Ranch. I hate myself. I hate myself. I hate my I'm never going to be a big YouTuber like Tommy 